Hello guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. Um, just on the C64 Mini, um, there's a latest firmware update. Um, there's been a couple this week. Um, obviously, they're now on 1.14, I think it is, after a few bugs from the initial new firmware. So, I'm going to show you how to get the latest firmware from c64.com. You just click, make sure you've got your USB stick um, inserted. And then follow the instructions that are on here to download. Fairly straightforward. This part anyway. Okay, download. This is the 1.14. Um, what I'm going to do is probably save as. And I've got it save. I've got my uh, USB stick already on here. So if you save it into there. That's that. As you can see, it's now in my USB drive. Now from there, you can then um, insert it into your Commodore 64 Mini, or C64 Mini, to give it the right title, and, um, and I'll show you what to do next. But this is obviously the big change that's going to help it a lot easier to play multiple games on your um, USB stick. And before it was uh, probably just one at a time, whereas now you think you're going to be able to select from a wide variety of games as long as they're on your stick you can just click and choose without having to chop and change between each one or each game you wanted to load so that's a massive change okay so now you've got your usb stick um, in your c64 mini um, with your firmware upgrade so you go to um, settings system information no not back to reset system information and here it's already finding it so you just click apply and hopefully that will work fairly straightforward it's now downloading the, the update it's fairly quick so as you can see the uh, one main obvious update is that the fact that there's a USB option uh, on the main screen now, um, which we'll now choose. Many, many games on here. Hopefully, it's just a matter of picking one um, and going with it and see what happens. I think the fast loading is, is also on, so hopefully this won't take too long to load. Wow! It's still pretty tricky, so it's just gonna go. Games, so I'm just using the standard joystick just now, which is just how I use this button. I just want to use it now with the new firmware, which is okay. So that's okay. Let's see if we can go back and um, see if we can choose more games from the USB stick. Quite simple. Yeah, I'm loving this, how quick it is. And what do we need to choose? Double at the time. So I've got some compilation discs in here as well. Not sure how these actually work. Place. This is it's got um, many many games on it. Which to bring this. I'm not really sure how it works. It's 
have a look. There we go. Let's see what we've got. Okay. It's got multiple games on it. Wow. <laughs> That's an <that's> awesome. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Terrific. So many games to play now. That's absolutely brilliant. Keep head over heels. That one that one's pretty famous. Wow. I am impressed. This um, game, but um, no, never actually played it. This joystick is the worst for it. Okay, I think we'll come back to that with a better joystick, I suppose, not with this one. Um, let me see. What else do we play? I'm definitely loving this. It's terrific. So, see there's many there, you can go up a folder and then go just then hide my games. Okay. Oh, how about... This is impressive. Okay, what do I do? Guys, thanks for watching the video today. You can see the, the new firmware update is definitely a lot better for playing multiple games from your USB disk. But there's a few other changes as well, but um, yeah, worth uh, upgrading to if you can, uh, following the guide. And um, thank you for watching, and um, please like and subscribe. Bye!